Hey trainers, Alec Ham here with some more Pokemon video magic. This is a kind of bonus episode, a throwback to uh, during the beginning of Season 8 with the Great League. I spent a lot of Stardust working on developing a cast form, just the, the normal, uh, regular cast form, the normal type one, right? So uh, cast form has some fairly good matchups against players that... Uh, recur pretty frequently. It might look like it's rated kind of low on PV Poke's list, but it has a lot of really good uh, matchups on the meta. So for the Pokemon that recur pretty frequently, it's going to do really well. And even some of the matchups that PV Poke says that it loses, like against Azumarill, if you get a head start, like if you're ahead on energy or something, you can definitely beat Azumarill as well. So I'm running it with Hex. And then uh, Weather Ball Rock is a new move that became available to it this season, which is actually what made me want to build one. And then it has access to um, Energy Ball for some Grass-type coverage. Um, so this is actually a really, really good matchup here uh, against the Talonflame. Weather Ball Rock is going to do a lot of damage. The only trouble here is that Cast Form is a little bit glassy. At least this one is. I haven't really played with any of the other variants very much. Um, I have a, a Weather Ball or a uh, Cast Form Sunny that I might work on building later. Uh, but anyway, that kind of, you know, that first battle gives you a taste of the uh, the power of cast form and the new weather ball rock we took out that talon flame very quickly and uh that worked out really nicely for us so here we have hex running and hex is doing a fair amount of damage against this chrysalia and it is a shiny chrysalia which is pretty cool um i do enjoy seeing the shiny pokemon come up here so weather ball not doing that much i decided to keep going with the hex damage and instead try and go for energy ball to do a little bit more neutral damage that is a lot better i switched into hypno i was hoping to kind of catch a move didn't quite catch but uh they decided to go ahead and throw anyway before they swapped i was running hypno as my safe switch because if i get stuck in a situation like against a bastiodon um, at least i can do a decent amount of damage with Shadow Ball, it's going to chip, right? So I'm not going to win the matchup, but I'm going to do a fair amount of chip damage, and then I can come in with my fighter, Vigoroth. And uh, Vigoroth can take a hit from Bastiodon, but I don't want to push it there. I figure I can farm down and uh, have quite a bit of energy ready to go for my opponent's other Pokemon, so I'm hoping that I'm going to get the shield back. You've probably noticed that this is an ABA team, so... Uh, the risk is that I get stuck against a fighter. Uh, that's what I don't want, is to get locked in against a fighter at the end. Um, I do have some offense against fighters with uh, Vigoroth. And then, of course, Hypno helps out with that. But if I get stuck, say, with the cast form, that's going to be really bad. So anyway, ABA team, got to be careful about managing uh, when I am bringing in each Pokemon. Uh, they decided to call the bait, which is really bad for me, because had I actually used that energy ball, I think it would have one-shot. But I did not. I decided to um, try and make them shield and then uh, get the weather ball. But that's fine. Uh, they ended up not shielding the second one either, so that's okay by me. I decided to go ahead and put up a shield to preserve some health on this Hypno. Hypno gets to the second Thunder Punch faster than the first one, so that's a pretty good situation for me there. I did get the shield back, and we were really close on being able to get to that second Thunder Punch. Didn't quite get there, but that's okay. I was able to spare a shield. They'll either have to give me their shield or uh, lose to the Hypno, so they just decided to let it go down and they did have a Meganium in the back. I went immediately for that Thunder Punch because I didn't think I could survive long enough to get to Shadow Ball, but I should have gone for Shadow Ball. Um, that would have probably been the better play here. But uh, what happened happened, and now I am working on using uh, Vigoroth, launching these Body Slams, 
to try and feint out the Meganium. Meganium is really tough. It is a really strong Pokemon, but we were able to pull that one off in the end. Vigoroth charges so fast uh, that just worked out nicely for us to be able to spam those body slam attacks at the end. Okay, same team. Cast form coming into a matchup with AWAC. Um, that's a very good matchup for cast form. So I just farm up a little extra energy and then I go straight into Vigoroth. Um, so the, uh, the uh, plant thing, whatever it is I'm fighting there, Ferrothorn, uh, can do a fair amount of damage with those power whips. So I'm really counting on my super effective fast moves to do as much damage as possible. And I decided to give up switch so that I could uh, maintain a shield which in retrospect may not have been the best play because I took a lot of damage on Hypno before I actually uh, fainted out the Ferrothorn. But I did farm up enough energy for Shadow Ball and they did not uh, block it. So, And I also farmed up a little extra energy here for Energy Ball. Um, energy Ball isn't just a massive move that's going to like completely tank a Galarian Stunfisk, but it does quite a bit of chip damage. So because they used a shield, I decided that I would go ahead and protect the cast form a bit here. I can probably take one rock slide, so I don't mind taking a rock slide. I just wanted to shield that first one in case it was an earthquake. And if I can land another energy ball, I'm probably going to be in decent shape. But they forced me to shield. Even a rock slide was going to be too much damage for me there. And I don't know that energy ball is enough to KO. Yeah, it gets really close. Then we made a simultaneous swap. And that is a good game. Um, the simul swap worked out nicely for me. I didn't expect them to swap at the same time. But I was able to just finish fainting out their lead. And that would have given me energy for the Stunfisk. This is another really great lead because uh, Weather Ball Rock is going to do super effective damage against this Golbat. They're going to debuff me with Poison Fang, but do they know that I have Weather Ball? Do they know that uh, Cast Form has been given a new move? Apparently they do. They decided to block there. But Cast Form charges super fast. I think it's three hexes to get to, a, uh, to, get to the first Weather Ball, so that's pretty great. Uh, Hypno was able to do a lot of damage there with Confusions. Confusion is uh, super effective against poison types like Golbat, so I am shocked that they did not shield the, uh, the Ninetales, but they let it go. They preserved a shield, and now we're going to have to come in with Vigoroth, uh, this Superior is going to do a lot of damage. Frenzy Plant is a monstrous move, and Body Slam does not hit very hard. Um, so I wanted to save a shield precisely for this moment so that I could protect the Vigoroth. No, I didn't. I should have protected the Vigoroth. That would have been the much better move. Instead, what happened was I got debuffed by this Golbat, um, and then didn't have that much energy left. I was tapping on the weather ball, as you could see, but uh, Superior won the charge move priority tie. So couldn't quite pull off that last one, but I think in general, normal type cast form is going to do pretty well in the Great League. I'm excited to use it a bit more when the Great League rolls around again. So I hope you en enjoyed seeing a video featuring that Pokemon.